One, if you could just go on and Robin. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make but, sure these are up. So we got 30 seconds. There we go. Cool. All right. 20 seconds we got now. Stand by one on Robin. Seven, six, five. Come out to one on Robin. Three, two, one. Dissolve. Good fly lower third. Grace Church, how are you today? Lower third when we you good? are. Yep, fly. Merry Christmas to you. Would you stand with us? If you are in the room with us today, we would love for you to stand as we worship. If you're at home, feel free to stand as There's well. Down. Untied. Thank you so much for Perfect. joining by us two. today. See, her thing comes back up. Start your push on two. And King. Oh. And dissolve. Kier's hot. This song is awesome. It's called My Testimony. And we have this opportunity today. And just hold it on, Robin, when you get there. Worship, to truly just declare our thankfulness and our testimony of God's goodness. Three electric. I saw Satan fall like lightning. Just hold it there on two. I saw darkness run for cover. Which one is the electric? Or are they both electric? Well, the one on the right. Yeah. On the right. Stand by four. Dissolve on four. I can't tell the pillow peep guys apart. That's why I asked. One, day, uh, one start from the top down. Stand by one. Dissolve one. Three wide and push. Start your push. Dissolve three. Stand by four. And dissolve four. Stand by six. Dissolve. Stand by three. Dissolve. Hold it there. Stand by four. Dissolve. Oh, some wide one. Wide one. Push. Stand by one. Nice and slow. Dissolve. Stand by three. Start a pull three. Dissolve. Stand by four. Dissolve. Four. Dissolve. Stand by two. Push into. Dissolve. Stand by four. Dissolve. Stand by one. Dissolve one. Stand by two. Dissolve. So who can testify today of the Lord's work. goodness? Amen. We see three wide. I'm not dead, you're not dead. Go wide three and push. The greater things are still to come. Hold Stand by four. If I'm Dissolve. not dead, you're not done. Stand by three. Dissolve. The greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. If I'm not dead, you're Stand by five. Dead. Stand by two. Take two, or dissolve two. Stand by one, I love it. And start your move on one. And dissolve. Three. Dissolve three. Too close on Robin. Stand by two. Oh, stand by four. Dissolve. Stay there two. Stand by one. Start your move. Dissolve. Five slides. Stand by three. Dissolve. Stand by two. Dissolve two. Three wide. Stand by three. Stand by five. Dissolve. And then three. Stand by three and dissolve. Stand by two, dissolve. Stand by 
Today to Grace Church. If you are in the building with us, we are so happy to be here with you. Mm, keys you down. Hear someone sitting near you. All right, our welcome graphic. Stand by three wide. Wave. Welcome them. Oops, what are we on? If you're joining us online, would you welcome Untied. someone you're with? Stand by three. Text a friend today. Say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, and dissolve three. All right, one. Be on the lookout for the two announcers and frame them up. Stand by. Pro Hi. Stand by one, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, everyone. and dissolve. Welcome to Grace. My name is and Anna. Anna. Fly lower third. I am the director of women's ministry here, mm -hmm. and with me today is my husband Jesse. So if you are joining us mm, online, keys today, down. You We're ready for graphics. So whenever you want, with others, you can slide up by going to live.gracecna.org. Also, if you and I'm just gonna leave them up throughout the whole time. Some message okay. notes. You can find that on the website as well. It's gracecna.org. And if you're new, we have a button that you can click on. It says "I'm new." If you click on it, it will link you to the various ministry opportunities that we have here at Grace, as well as get you connected. And if you're here with us in person for the first time, we invite you to stop by our welcome desk before you head out today. We have a gift waiting there for you. So it is so good to be able to worship together today. We just want to take a moment to say thank you for just continuing to wear your masks. This is just a way for us to be able to stay healthy and so that we can just continue worshiping together. Safely. Okay, next so song starts with Sarah. Yeah, and one of the things we really so we'll have uh, one look for Sarah, three stay is, wide, um, and two we have some electric guitar. Connect and grow together. Oftentimes um, it happens through healing. So the men's ministry, but not right away. We have a class starting next week. So I'll come out to There's three keys and then one. To help men overcome addiction. It's called the Conquer Series. For more information, check out our website. So we are getting ready to say farewell to 2020. I think that makes all of us a little sad, I'm sure. And with New Year's often comes New Year's resolutions. So we were kind of thinking about what would our New Year's resolutions be and my suggestion was that he would maybe rub my feet more. I was thinking maybe I could uh, do less work around the house and watch more football. <laughs> There's supposed to be new resolutions, though. Yeah, but one of the ones I, I hear often is that people would like to read their Bible every day next year. Um, today, we'll be taking a look at our last portrait of a Savior. And next week, uh, we'll begin a message uh, Geared towards the the last slide. Yes. Reading your Bible I'm going to untie as soon as that uh, So flies. as we get ready to listen for today's message, and then we begin to prepare slide down. for And I'm untied. Stand by three. And you can prepare together. the worship Dear Heavenly background Father, slide. Just thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to be able to come to gather. And, and you're untied, you said? Today. I'm untied. Perfect. We thank you that as we have completed just celebrating Christmas, Lord, even though it's just one day. We pray that it would be something that we would celebrate every single day of the year, Lord. Your word says that you came to give us life and to give it abundantly. And so we thank you for the gift of sending Jesus to give us life. And Lord, after this year, just saying goodbye to a year that was so difficult, full of so many hardships and heartaches and disappointments, and losses we thank you that we can look to next year and we're praying lord for just a fresh outpour of your spirit upon us lord we pray that you would just connect our hearts to you today we just thank you lord that we get to take a, a glimpse again at the portrait of a savior and that it would just show us just a picture of who you are your character your stand by three and your faithfulness to us lord and we anticipate and look forward to a new year to see the new things that you're going to do Thank you, Jesus, and we give you praise in your name. Amen. Dissolve three, stand by six. Keyers up. Church, would you stand with us as we continue to worship our Savior today? I'm looking for Sarah on one. Dissolve six. Stand by one. Dissolve one. Stand by four. 
four, and then we'll go to two. Start over four. Oh, that's good four, I like it. Dissolve. Stand by two. And dissolve. Stand by five. Dissolve. Stand by one. Stand by four, dissolve, stand by three, go ahead and start over, three, or bring it down, one or the other, dissolve, stand by two, dissolve, stand by one, Sarah, and dissolve, stand by four, shaking it up. <laughs> All right, we start with keys. Drums build before the second verse. Stand by one. Dissolve one. Two wide. And three, if you can do a pull from Greg, so start it, Greg, close up, and then do a pull. You give life. You are love. Go ahead and start your pull you three. Bring light nice and slow. That's beautiful darkness. speed. You give hope, you and dissolve. restore every heart that is broken. Two, can you start your push into Greg? And great are you, Lord. Dissolve. One, stay there. It's a breath in our love. Stand by one. So we pour out our praise. Dissolve. We pour or can you do a pull or start from the lights? Okay, go ahead and start your move. Dissolve. Stand by six, dissolve. 
give life. Stand by five. You are love. Dissolve. You bring life Stand by three. The dark. Dissolve. You give up. That was a lot of empty seats. <laughs> My bad. Stand by one. Every Start a pull of one. Dissolve one. Oh, I did it again. Stand by two. Dissolve. So let's worship him with all the honor. Three, I'm going to have you start a pull. I'm from beautiful. Greg. Go ahead and start a pull. Stand by three. And all the earth will shout your Dissolve. Praise. Our hearts will cry. Stand by four. These bones will sing. And dissolve four. Are you Stand by six. Lord. Dissolve six. And all the earth will shout your name. Stand by three. Can we brighten up three at all? Dissolve three. Sing, Stand by four. Dissolve four. Two, can you go wide? Stand by one. Stand by five. Dissolve. Stand by two. Dissolve. By one. Can you stay out there too? Start one. Dissolve one. Stand by two. Start your push two. Dissolve. Stand by four. Start over four. Start your move. Dissolve. One close on Greg. Dissolve one. Four slides. Stand by five. Stand by four. Dissolve. Stand by five. Dissolve. Stand by six. Dissolve. Stand by two. Dissolve. Stand by one. Dissolve one. Stand by three. And I'm going to need one. And dissolve three. Perfect. All right. Keyers down. Stand by one on Joel. He's coming Ready up to, to the left. Tie. And holding it on Stand three. Stand by one. Invite you to pray with me. Dissolve. And dissolve. Father is here. All right. So what we'll do as soon as he's done praying, I'm going to put my Please. keyers up and we can f I'll f we'll fly graphic. Spoken nice job, there. everyone. Looked amazing. Every word that was sung is absolutely true. Two head to toe. Lord, you are God. You are the king. Cool. I was going to say, good things happened this, this year. Morning. Didn't uh, Emmanuel and Lamar start a church? Season. So that's great. Uh, yeah. That's a good thing. Literally for centuries, you have been coming It's the official Aviva life. Church. Yeah. It's we very live exciting. On this side We're happy. You guys are going out Carolyn today, family. aren't you? And the thing that the prophets yeah. dreamed nice. about and saw, we have heard from testimonies of the men and women that were there when you were born and you gave your life for us. Thank you. And Father, today we, we pray for especially families in Tennessee that this week their world was rocked. This just hatred. And those who have lost people that they love, those who have spent this holiday mourning, would you 
be present with them, Father. Now, Holy Spirit, we just invite you to, to give us ears to hear, to, to be attentive to you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Fly lower third. Denny wants us to do that once his message starts. Good morning. Good morning lower you, thirds are down. Perfect. Title slide. Warm greetings to those of you at Olmstead Falls. Slide up. I trust that for all of you, it was a blessed Christmas. We are this morning looking oh, his name is once on the title again side. at the book right. of Isaiah, the last chapter, looking Does at he go to a graphic really the portraits no. that this prophet I'll saw probably take it down. And of, of God and of the one who came. Take it down. Slide side. down. What are you and let me know when we have a bit of a break. Slide graphic. Slide up. If, if the people Three, I'm gonna, you, when I come out to uh, you, them, I'm going to have you do a really slow push. So if you want to motivates them, what moves them? Practice a yeah. super duper say? slow push. You take it down whenever you want. The question Slide should down. be asked a little bit differently. The Let me know when I got some space, Rick. Ultimately, who or what that's a perfect you speed. love Maggie. and worship? And, and essentially, that's what this book of Isaiah is about. The question it's asking, at least one of the questions, is about the worship of our hearts and worried. the worship yeah. of the hearts of God's people well, who had turned away from God. Yeah, just hold it wide so and I'll let you know. And book, that was a good speed. I love it. This prophet is Thanks. painting pictures, if you That's will. That's my Maggie. Not only of the, the heart of this nation, but of the heart of the one who is coming as their savior. There is a deeper question in the book. And the question is this. Let's go off. What is God? And, oh, oh, Alex, if you could turn down the volume. Two slides. That's okay. Thanks. All through this book, you see this passionate God. I think. An important okay. question. In fact, the book of Isaiah indicates that when you or I choose to align our passions with God's passions, Keep it's actually the thing that yeah. makes our lives not only have meaning, but makes our lives work. So this book Three, is one of the two, most comprehensive, one. beautiful Slide portraits down. I've got four slides coming up in a row. of the heart and passion of God. It's not descriptive. Isaiah doesn't say, let me give you a list of the things that God is passionate about. No, it's, it's in the story. It's in the words that God speaks. He, he, he talks to his people like a husband or a father whose heart is broken by the waywardness of his people. So Isaiah comes and sees the picture and he announces to this people that they are going to be judged, that they're actually going to be chased out of, of the land of Israel. You would think that is bad news. It is not. It is good news. It is the, the kindness of God to turn their hearts back. But he doesn't just see judgment. That's just one tiny little portrait. Behind it, he sees the coming and the accomplishment of God's purposes. Isaiah perceived what Black he graphics. called Slide a up. new thing that God was going to do. What was the old thing? Well, it's not old. Yeah, it's four. just a covenant that God had made with Israel. Yeah. But that was all He's about the it. ultimate thing that he was going to do. And this is the way he says it in chapter 43. Right. I am the Lord, Three your holy cool. one, speaking to his people. Israel's creator, your king. That is what the Lord said. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters. He says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So Isaiah this sees one. this, yep. this Three, one who's two, coming, this new one, thing that God's down. gonna do. All right, Maggie. Anybody. Get ready to start your push. You meet somebody who. Go ahead and who, start like when you're Isaiah, ready. Isaiah is passionate about the things and that God is passionate take three. about. It's beautiful. You read a biography ready, of somebody or you meet somebody. Like, one of those people is, is Martin Luther. Okay. Martin Luther was one of the people that God used Oops. 
to bring a Take. reforming work into his church at a time when his church had kind of lost its Give way. Uh, Martin Luther and some sorry, others stood up and bumpy. called people That's back. Okay. Like Isaiah, he perceived deeply what God was doing. If you read about Martin Luther, he was a man of great passion, brilliant legal mind. He was trained in law. He knew Greek and Hebrew and Latin. And in fact, they said when he spoke Hebrew or Latin, you, you thought that it was his mother tongue. Brilliant man. But much of Martin Luther's life was plagued by a terrifying fear. A fear that, that no matter what he did, he could not be right with God. He feverishly lived, seeking to earn God's forgiveness and, and rightness, fasting, depriving himself, beating his body just to seek God's approbation. And then one day, while he was reading in the book of Romans, words that he had read before, it's as though the Holy Spirit shined a light on the words and he read, the righteous, the just, will live by faith. Later, other words from Paul and, and found in the book of Ephesians, that it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And that's not of yourselves. It is of God so that nobody can boast. Martin Luther transformed. Sola fide. By faith alone. Graphic. This is he describes it. Martin Luther says, we believe that the very beginning and end of salvation, the sum of Christianity consists of faith in Christ, who by his blood alone and not by any work of ours has put away sin and destroyed the power of death. Three, Changed two, one, slide down. And many Do we have a follow. break? Short. It was the Ready new to? thing that Isaiah was talking about. It is what Take. Christ came to give. When you read this book of Isaiah, all through its words and pictures, you see Ready, one. the passionate Ready, tie. heart of God spoken through his prophets. So the right question to ask is Take. what is God so passionate about? Slide up. Well, the first thing he's passionate about is his own glory. begins in chapter 1 with words of, of a broken heart that he had told them. brought his okay. people through the Red Sea. He had loved them. He had cared for them. He had walked with them. He had simply asked them to, to worship him and to, to, to portray his glory. They did not. He sends the prophet. One of the first things that happened in this book is that the prophet himself, chapter 6, sees a vision of the glory of God. If you read the, 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 the account, it's, he sees, not he doesn't see all the glory of God, he just sees a picture of it, he sees the hem of it, and he's so overtaken that he falls flat on his face and says, I am nothing. Should I continue to leave this up or take it down? I think he's getting ready to read it. <laughs> to be his mouth. But all the words really that Isaiah speaks are against this backdrop of this God that he had encountered. Today we're looking at a portrait. It's especially seen in the last chapter, chapter 66. And he's explaining through Isaiah what the story, how it's going to unfold. And he says in verse 18, Graphic. And I, because of what they have planned and Two done, stops. am about to come. That's God. He's saying, I'm coming, and I'm going to gather the people of all nations and languages, and they will come and do what? They will come and see my glory. The intent of the old covenant was never the elevation of Israel. It was the revelation of God. Sure. Three, he was two, preparing one. a people 
so that there would be a place for him to come and dwell. And when his people would honor and worship God, they would reveal to the nations God and his goodness. That's how it works. When you meet a husband that, that constantly criticizes his wife. We got a space, Rick? You don't actually okay, three, can you start a slow, slow push? From his words. Take your time. Maybe his words I'll wait till you're ready. Maybe he's just a lousy husband. But ready, three, go ahead and start when you're ready. Slower, slower, slower. You Take. show your love. And he, he's saying to ready, his tie. people, I've loved you Keep with going. reckless Keep abandon. Going. And you continually Thank worship you. other gods. So all the people around, Ready how can two? they know my glory? Take. You're the ones that are supposed to be shown. Ready, Ty? They didn't honor him and they couldn't. Take. But God's intent was always to reveal his glory. Graphic. First he revealed it to Israel. So he that moved over just in time. <laughs> Almost like jerked the camera. Did you see that? No, <laughs> the, the, the I like when they, it, I don't like when it happens at the so same time though. Yeah. And show it to people that are really hungry to know his glory. C.S. Lewis, he, he was converted okay. later in life. Slider. And yeah, it's he like your stomach goes, woo -woo. The most when they move at the same time. It just took him a long time to finally commit himself to God. And one of the things that he struggled with for years was this notion that God is concerned about his Want own still life. He said, read in the Psalms, like, who talks like that? Who well, says, Malachi, you'll be alive the whole hey, time. Hey, worship <laughs> me. Bow down and honor me. Come into my presence with singing. Like, anybody who does that, we're like, don't do that. But as he began to, to reflect, it occurred to him that that's the most normal thing that all of us do. We're all worshipers. And when we see something that's glorious, the, the thing we want to do Ready is to? tell somebody. Take. When you see a beautiful work of art or when you're, you're cheering for a sports team, can you imagine if the Browns went to the Super Bowl? <laughs> Some of you are going, wow, you are really Ready, Ty? things. But just imagine that. But only one person got to be there to see it, and that person couldn't tell. Take. That would be awful. The joy we are tied. is in the telling. And he says the most valuable thing in, in, in the universe is God himself. So when we honor him, it's not blessing him as much as it's blessing us. He, think, he says it like this, C.S. Lewis. I think we delight to Slide. praise Slide. what we enjoy. Because the praise not merely expresses, but it completes the enjoyment. It is, it is its appointed consummation that when Three, we praise two, God one. it's actually Slide up. revealing him to us I suspect that the same thing that C.S. Lewis found troubling is troubling for some of us because we want to think that God is preeminently concerned about us not himself we, we, we want to God, who's man-centered, not God-centered. Worse still, we can't fathom how God could possibly love us the way that we think he should if he's so unapologetically obsessed with the praise and glory of his own name. How can God love me if all his infinite energy is expending, expent on his own glory? And Lewis is saying, oh no, actually when, when his glory is understood and known, the ones who are blessed the most is us. He says, in the process of being Flag worshipped, up. it's there that God reveals himself. Even in the old covenant sacrificial system, it wasn't so much that the Israelites gave bulls and goats to God, but that by their so doing, God gave himself to men. Three, two, one, slide down. And hey, Malachi, can you slowly God, push in just a little bit? So we get rid of some of that headspace. There's nothing that slowly satisfies push us. In. Right there. It's the Perfect. most loving thing that God can do. 
is to reveal his glory. He's passionate about it. He's also passionate Flying right of purpose. Salado. He has a deep passion to accomplish his mission, and it will happen. Any slides after this? The Israelites uh, never no. right. understood slide up. Next slide, the story. Six. They appear to be in a row, but you might story break it out. Now. Them. We got some space, though, right? And it never was. Between it was that, now and then. about him. So let me take you back to the, the day of the prophet Isaiah. Or the people no. had over and over and over do something, again I would do it. abandoned okay. God. Okay, ready to? Isaiah comes and he announces that judgment is coming. And I feel like this is going to read a verse now. Be exiled to Babylon. Let's talk about Jerusalem Isaiah, though. is going to be That's lost. True. Ready to? In exile. Take. God was not abandoning his plan but his plan was never about I love Israel. those lights back there his plan was that through was Israel he Three, was going can you go to wide? bless the nations Start a push. and honor his own name nice and slow. so he says to the, uh, through Ready, Isaiah, three. you're going into exile but he's actually going to bring the Slower. people back the temple Take. will be rebuilt Ready, and tie. then the day is coming when the Messiah is going to come Take. But in Isaiah 53, Very nice. Thank you. he talks about this coming Messiah, and he says She's on her game, man. he's not going to mm. look like anything any of you imagine. He doesn't look like what we would imagine. He would have never made a list in Fortune magazine, even though he created the heavens and the earth. Because he came as a humble servant. He said there was nothing, there would be nothing in Jesus' appearance that would draw you to him. He would be beaten and bruised for us and ultimately die a sacrificial death for us. And exactly the picture that he painted in Isaiah 53 is exactly what happened. So fast forward seven or eight hundred years. Jesus comes. In the first days... In his ministry, Jesus went to the synagogue. What does that mean? Well, if you remember, the temple was the center. The temple was always in the center of God's people, and it was in the center because that's where the presence of God Yeah, and it wasn't clear. It was like a semi-wide. Yeah, This was okay. not at the temple. This was in a synagogue. All and right, I'm glad you said something about the screen. Yeah. Well, I forgot about those. Local places in each village, in each community where the people would go and they would read the Torah. They would read the, the, the Old Testament scriptures, the prophets. Davis and will be catching that one. <laughs> teach Sorry, their Davis. children who this God Oops. was. The story go to four. I like four. It says yeah, that Jesus too. had the habit of going to the synagogue. So, on this so day, what we were talking about, too, is uh, that the Luke next time four, I do a wide shot, I'm going to not do a wide shot. I'm going to go to two and have you slide up. I'm going to have you start on the left and side of the stage and just pan slowly to the right, but have you pull out wide enough. To read. Not enough to see the, the, the screens, but the just to get Isaiah a wider shot. Was handed to him. I hope that made sense. Unrolling it, so it would be a semi-wide shot without written. screens and starting from the These left and the panning words. to the right. These are from Isaiah 61. So here's the picture. These words are actually yeah, So you would start all the way to the God left, um, to so Isaiah. your camera would be now pointed Jesus towards the left. Reads them. Yeah. Verse 18. The spirit of yeah, the Lord that's nice. is on me. So we'll wait until we get because a break. Because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to wider. proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. No, it's fine. I appreciate it. I would try to go a little bit wider, a little bit wider. They knew exactly who Isaiah was talking about. You practiced the shot I haven't. He was talking about the Messiah that was coming. Jesus reads Do you the want word. that screen in, or is that and okay? It says he rolled up the scroll. He gave it back to the attendant, and he sat down. Well, I, what I would do too is like hey, practice now to do a slow pan to the right now too. At Jesus, and he said to them, and then right like today, when it's about gone, you can like cut over. Oh, okay, I see. Words that so when that screen goes like out of the boom, picture, now go to it. Got it. You can have a little bit of the screen as long as he's not on it, really. I see. I see. I that might be come. pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can. Any more that. slides? One more. To proclaim the year of the Lord's I'm gonna leave it up. To release prisoners. To 
to redeem people. Jesus died in the exact manner that Isaiah had predicted. Despised, rejected by men, and in his death it says he took upon himself the sin of us all. Okay. Three, two, one, slide down. On okay, two, start your move. From the death. Then in the and story, there's like take. 40 days. Ready, tie. Very little is told us of what going, happened in those keep 40 going. days. It tells us that and Jesus appeared to his friends, to about take. 500 people, so that they would nice. know that yeah, it cool. was him. But before I love he returned it. Okay, to you can his reset. father, the few words that are recorded that was nice. are spoken Thanks. to his friends, and he says Something this. different, too. Mm -hmm. I like, we need to mix when it up gone, a little. When I'm gone, it was getting too boring before. And my spirit will come on you. Well, that's you the thing, this? Heidi. If you, if you Jesus think of ideas, in the synagogue and go he for says, it. You guys are coming up with all the ideas. The spirit of the Lord is on me. Why? So that I can preach good news. That God is for you. That's that cheating. God is going to make a way from for Christmas you. Eve. And then he says, I'm going to the somebody. Father. <laughs> Wait. And my spirit will come on you. And he will give you power. Why? So that you can be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That is God's passion. He is... He has a redemption project that's been going for centuries that is going towards every man, woman, and child in every tribe and every nation for himself. And no matter what happens in this story, whether they're in exile, no matter what happens, God's purposes always happen. So now he entrusts it to his friends and he returns to the fire. Here's the last picture from, from chapter 66. Should I fly it? God is passionate about his glory. Yes. No, slide it. God is passionate about seeing a family of people So for I have himself. six, five or six slides in a row for scripture. Right after this? Yeah, okay. For people. Chapter 66. Isaiah sees the very end of the story, what God is going to do and what it's going to look like. He talks about the new Jerusalem, the new heaven, and the new earth. But in it, you, you see the passion of God for Take people. It down. Slide Let up. me read it to you. This is, <laughs> the, 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 the translation is from the message. Hey, when that happens. Isaiah chapter 66, verses 18 to 23. And Isaiah sees this picture of what's going to happen. Flygraphic. He says, Slide up. God says, I'm going to come and gather everyone, all nations, all languages. They will come and they will see my glory. I'll set up a station at the center. I'll send the survivors of judgment all over the world. Spain, Africa, Turkey, and Greece, and the far-off islands that have never heard of me, who know nothing of what I've done, nor who I am. I'll send them out as missionaries to preach my glory among the nations. They'll return with all your long-lost brothers and One sisters still alive? from all over the world. They'll bring them back and offer them in a living worship to God. They'll bring them on horses and wagons and carts, on mules and camels, straight to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, says God. They'll present them just as Israelites present their offerings in a ceremonial vessel in the temple of God. I'll even take some of them and make them priests and Levites, says God. This wow. last one? Yeah. Slide up. This was not good news to the Israelites. They thought the Messiah was going to come and once and for all establish the nation Ready state to? of Israel and make them great. Take. One and two are alive. That was never God's intent. His intent was always through them to reveal his glory and use them to be a blessing to all the nations. 
And Isaiah Ready is saying, tie? that is Take? exactly what's going to happen. And he talks about Jerusalem. He says, they're going to come and see my glory. I'll set up a station at the center. What's the station? It's Jerusalem. But it's not Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is important for two reasons. The first is, in the Old Covenant, that is where the God of the universe came to dwell in the Holy of Holies. It was in Jerusalem. It was also in Jerusalem, outside the city walls, that the king of the universe was crucified for you and me. his life. You remember what Jesus said to a woman at Jacob's well? He said, the day is coming when worshipers, it's not going to matter if you're in Jerusalem, like the city of Jerusalem, or you're on this hill over here. Because people are going to worship in spirit and truth. The spirit of God, the presence of God is going to be in people. So the Jerusalem he's talking about is not this physical place. It's where God is. The presence of God is going to be open to everybody. And he says they're going to, he's going to send his people out. He says that there's going to be survivors. So there was a group of survivors that came back from, from Babylon to Jerusalem and it was from those people that the first ones, Peter and Paul and James and, and the apostles were sent out. And he says he's going to send them to Spain, to Africa, to Turkey, to Greece, to the far off island. They're going to bring people to God. This is so beautiful. They're going to bring them in carts. They're going to bring them on the back <laughs> of motorcycles. They're going to bring them on mules and donkeys and camels. People are going to come from everywhere to this Savior. Yeah. This was offensive to the Jews because they saw the Gentiles. The word Gentile is outsider, evil. You hear what Isaiah says? Nice follow, Malachi. Gentiles? He says that he's going to send people out and they will return. He calls the Gentiles your long lost brothers and sisters. <laughs> And he closes by saying, I'll even take some of them and make them priests and Levites. What is a priest or a Levite? A priest is somebody who stands in between God and people. And he said, I'm even going to use some of those Gentiles to be my servant. Somebody say amen. That's us, most of us. We, we get invited into the story. Jesus did come, but he did not come to redeem Why? and build nations. He came to redeem people. Yeah, for a second, one day he was with his friends, his disciples. Three, two, said, one, slide down. Jesus, you keep talking about the day of the Lord and there's going to be Ready this new to? heaven. And when is that going to happen? Take. Jesus said, well, I don't actually know the day, only the Father knows. But this is what's going to happen. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars. There's going to be earthquakes and fires and pandemics. And this is going to be a lot of crazy. But when that happens, he says, rejoice. Because that means I'm coming. Take, don't miss the last thing Jesus said in Matthew good. 24. He said this. It's a lot of graphic. Slow. This good news, what is the good news? The good news is that men and women from any tribe or family can be made right to God in Christ. He says this good news is going to be preached as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Jesus, Matthew 24, 14, 3, you know? 2, 1. Why isn't Jesus Slide down. Coming? Because he hasn't finished. Got that committed to memory? Matthew 24, 14. What's that? Matthew 24, 14. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, that no, is where we are living. <laughs> this is the story that God is writing. And he's asking all those in whom the Spirit dwells to be his witnesses. He's really serious about this. He longs for us to be a people in whom his glory is seen. How does that happen? What happens when we honor him, when we obey him, when we follow him, when we delight in him? And then he says, 
They become witnesses. Now, if you read this story, Jesus says this to his disciples. He says, I want you to go Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria. 15 years later, they're still sitting in Jerusalem. 64 AD, Nero comes and he lights the city on fire and he torches Jerusalem and they go scattering all over the world. Ready to? That's tragic. No. If that wouldn't have happened, you and I wouldn't be sitting here. God uses Staying with one. everything to bring about his purposes. How do Pretty people fast. hear and <laughs> understand? Well, they either read the story or someone tells them the story. They see the glory of God in somebody. Your brothers and sisters, that's why we're here. I love Alpha. Alpha is going to be, you hear us talk about Ready it around to? here a lot. It's going to be starting back up in January. It just got better. Mm -hmm. It's all online now. How long do we so have, Rick? It's just accessible for the next to anybody that you love. I mean, do we have a, oh, we have only one left? Oh, we'll just leave it here then. Hear the story. That was fast. What? Growing up, all my life, my dad was a pastor. Okay, he's going to tell a story. And one of the churches that... I'm going to go to two. Ready, two? He was pastoring when I was in high school. Was Take. Was in North Jersey, not far from New York City. Uh, in our church, there was this family. The mom had come to Christ, loved Jesus, her children, just a delightful family. And for years, they asked us to join them in praying for dad. I like I, four. Great man. I, I do too. You get guy, side shot, front shot. This didn't really have a place in his life for God. Ready, so Ty? My dad actually met him a couple times, got to know him, had conversations, but he just totally wasn't interested. And then one day my dad gets a call from his wife and she says they just found something, I believe it was with his heart, and it was, it, it looked very, very blue. Ready, Ty? Like, Take. He's not going to. One's work. alive? There is, she said, this surgery that they can do. Without the surgery, for sure he'll die. With the surgery, maybe 30, 40% chance of survival. So the night before the surgery, she calls my dad and says, would you go with me to the hospital? So he accompanies the family and goes to this man's room and spends a few minutes talking, explains again briefly the gospel. And then he says to him, hey, would you allow me to pray with you? Or if you don't want me to pray with you, at least pray for you. The man said, well, thank you so much, but yeah, no, I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested. My dad said they left the room that night with really heavy hearts, thinking that he probably is not going to be alive tomorrow, and he just outright rejected the gift of God. Next evening, he got a call from... The woman, her husband, had survived the surgery, was out of surgery, but was, was in a coma. A couple days, kind of back and forth, not sure if he was going to make it. And then about a week in, he, his wife is in the room one day, and, and, and he starts trying to say something to her with her hands. He couldn't talk, but he's, he's excited, and he's trying to say something to her. With the, and finally she figures out what he's saying is, is Jesus. What happened? So finally, when he was able to speak, he said, you're not going to believe what happened. The, the, the night before the surgery, when, when you and the pastor came to my room, and you left, I, I went to sleep, and in the middle of the night, I felt somebody sitting on the end of my bed. He said, when I woke up, it was Jesus. And he looked at me, and he said, how long are you going to walk away? And he said, I believe. Would God really do that? Sometimes the picture we paint of God is of this God who's just waiting for us to trip up. Just reject me and you'll see. That's not the picture Isaiah paints. That's not the picture that Jesus paints. Would Jesus do that? Oh, yeah. This Jesus 
got up from his throne. He took off his crown and he laid down his robe and he became a baby. And he suffered and he died because he's coming after you. That's who he is. You're a trooper, Malachi. It's been 35 minutes. <laughs> Just kind of stretch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for helping us out. As soon as you stretch, guess what he does? He moves. He runs. <laughs> yeah, you can't let go Slide for up. a second. And Isaiah is saying to us, it will get accomplished. Wait a minute. Like, we're living in a... So there's no other slides, no he, questions. He hits each of these three points. In How is notes. God going to get okay. his work done? Okay. Well, he, he I may not keep it up the whole time. He, he never, ever is not accomplishing what he set out to do. Hmm? There's questions um, when he, at the very, very end. Important picture. Is the picture okay, as soon as you take this down, I'm going to untie. Relentlessly pursues... He, he's pursuing everyone for himself, for his glory, for his kingdom. And the last idea is that when we share his passion, we also share his glory. He, he's invited us to live our lives for his glory, to show his glory through our lives. Three, and then two, to be people uh, uh. who join his kingdom and his passion. I don't think anybody Three, that two, ever does one, this gets slide to down. the end of their life and goes. All right. All right, I'm untied. You can put a worship it, background if you want. It's, it's glorious. So over these next months, we're going to be talking about this. The first passion of God is always his glory and sharing it with us in a relationship. And we're going to be talking about that over the next few weeks. How do you cultivate and grow that communion, that, that knowing? After that, we're going to talk about investing who we are and what God has entrusted to us for his kingdom. And then in March, we're going to do what our church family does every year. We stop for a whole week and remind ourselves. It looks like Robin leads this last song. She does. Uh, that's a God rusty, merry gentleman that comes out too. He has come for us. It starts quiet and then it gets, a, it builds into something beautiful. Lots of creativity can be expressed. Stand by three. Jesus. Um, so three, I'm going to have you do a push, go to keys and two can look for, uh, Robin. That you came to share your glory with us and you've invited us into the story. Not, not so that this church or, or we could be glorious, but so that we could be part of the story that is an eternal story. The story that that is an invitation into a an eternal relationship with the God of the universe. Who could have ever imagined? Thank you. In Jesus' name. It's all you, Heidi. Stand by three. Stand and celebrate the unbelievable news that he came for us. Dissolve three. Stand by six. Keys are hot. Up. Who is this? Who is this? Stand by keys. Stand by two. And dissolve two. All right. Stand by four. Start over four. Uh, hold on four. Not ready yet. I'm going to wait for it to build a little bit. Okay, go ahead and start. Dissolve four. Stand by six. Dissolve six. Stand by one. 
Nice. You can go ahead and pull one. I love it. Why? Uh, two, can you go wide? And then do a push. Stand by two. Go ahead and start two. And dissolve. Stand by four. Dissolve. Uh, two, can you get the, no, can somebody get the electric? Stand by five, dissolve. Stand by six, dissolve. Stand by three, dissolve. Stand by two, stand by two, dissolve two. Stand by four, stand by one, and then we'll go to four. Dissolve one, ready four, stand by, and dissolve. Stand by two. Dissolve two, stand by one, dissolve, stand by four, dissolve, stand by three, dissolve three, stand by two, dissolve, stand with two, stand by one, hold it there one, Dissolve one, stand by four, go ahead and start your move, dissolve, beautiful, two, stand by two, dissolve, gorgeous, stand by three, five slides, five slides, Check your focus dissolve three, three. stand by one, uh, one, can you go wide and push in at Robin, go ahead and push, and dissolve, Stand by four. Dissolve four. Three, go wide. Stand by one. Dissolve. Beautiful. Stand by two. Dissolve two. Stand by four. Dissolve four. Stand by one. Are you, who are you coming out to, Dave? I'll be coming out to one. Oh, stand by two, Dadal. Alright, stand by three. Stand by four, dissolve four. I'm looking okay for Joel. Yep. Stand by two, dissolve two. Stand by three. And dissolve three, keys are down. Stand Here's by the, five. Stand by one on Joel. It's gonna be hot there. And dissolve. And dissolve. We are tied. With us today, the light of day have come to worship. You guys did wonderful. To reflect on Isaiah's words, I think an appropriate response is, where in my life is, is God's glory being seen? How can are these his questions? The beauty of him. And secondly, Maybe there's somebody in your life that you've been praying for for just a long time. Should I put these up now? Or? Yeah, I think he's Maybe just wording them a little differently, but it just it sounded like it. Mm -hmm. They never come right out and just say the question. Compassion of the Lord that you want to share with them. Three, two, one, slide down. You can put the whole full graphic up now. I just hope the rest of this year goes fantastic for you. Oh, okay. Isn't there a full and questions that go at the end? By three, dissolve. Good pull. Super. Perfect. Cover your. So we'll leave this up for like two minutes and then. Yeah, just um, go ahead. Or I think it automatically goes. Cover your it? lenses because we're going to spray know. the worship center. Uh, lock them down. We'll let you know. Uh, come on down. We'll let you know if it we're going to. It is gonna, counting down. Yeah. Okay. If we're going <sighs> to reshoot. Director's out.